Hi and a very good day. So in this video session, I will explain about one of the component in time series, which is uh, the trend component, right? Uh, like I mentioned here, uh, basically trend component describe the general upward or downward movement. Okay, and it basically represent the long run growth or decline over time. Okay. And uh, to identify this particular component, it is easy for us to just uh, plot a straight line. Okay, uh, to whether is there any upward or downward trend. Okay, what are the reasons why we need to uh, understand whether our uh, our time series have trend component or not? Right. Uh, the first reason is it will allow the modeler, the forecaster, to understand the historical pattern exists in the data series. So when we see that there are actually uh, a significant trend in our time series, all right. So we can employ a correct model that cater that particular component. Okay. Uh, secondly. It will enable the modeler to project past pattern or trend into the future for forecasting purpose, right? Suppose that we have the trend line and then based on the trend line, we'll, we, we can generate uh, the mathematical model to represent the trend line. And that based on that particular uh, model, uh, we can forecast, we can project, okay? And uh, why is it? Because uh, we assume that what happened yesterday will happen again tomorrow. Okay. And next, lastly, it will enable the modeler to isolate or remove the trend component from the actual data. And sometimes when we remove this particular uh, component, we say that it is easier to work with especially when we're talking about a uh, later model in our next chapter okay all right so um, let's take a look okay uh, when we okay this is uh, basically sometimes okay what we what happened it's not entirely a linear trend okay but of course uh, in terms of which one that easy to work with it is always linear trend. So suppose that you have exponential, okay, uh, third order poly polynomial and so on. It is best for us to transform our data so that we can generate a linear trend based on the transformation data set. Okay, alright, so uh, this is uh, general, okay, general trend line that we can see from our data series. Alright, so how to identify Basically, uh, we will cover two ways to identify trend component, which uh, is the first, the trend line, and then the second is moving average, right? So for both uh, technique, I will show you by using Excel, right? So for uh, trend line, okay, basically this is the equation. As we can see here, you have, okay, the trend component equals to alpha plus beta t. Okay, t here is the time variables, okay, plus, okay, error term. Okay, uh, this is basically a general term to, uh, to describe the trend component. Okay, alright, so let's take a look how can we perform it by using Excel, alright. Okay, this is our data series. Okay, this is our data series. Okay, suppose that uh, we use uh, the same example as your textbook, right? Okay, so we have uh, this particular series. And like I mentioned before, uh, to see whether our series have a general upward or downward trend, what we do, we plot our graph. Okay, uh, the best way is just use a uh, simple linear trend, uh, linear graph. Uh, plot here all right okay so uh, select data okay series name series value okay series name mm, this okay series value okay uh, just right all right okay and then you click okay all right so here uh, like I mentioned here okay this is basically where we plot the data okay generally we can see and upward trend so how do we know 
Alright, okay, so uh, we can add a trend line here. Okay, there is actually option in Excel to add trend line. Alright. Uh, Alright, you, you get the trend line. And then, based on this also, you can display equation on chart. Alright, so basically this is uh, the equation for our trend line. Alright, X here is uh, T. Okay, you compare here back. Okay, X here is T. And then, our T here is 1, 2 up until 38. Alright, okay. So, uh, if you want to edit the axis, alright, it can also be performed. Alright, okay. And then, this is basically the trend line. Okay, so the next method I will show to you. Okay, uh, make sure that uh, you get this particular equation. Okay, alright. So the next step uh, to see whether our data series have a uh, trend line or a uh, trend component or not is by applying moving average. Okay, for moving average, uh, we assume that the data pattern. Okay, now we try to find out the pattern. Okay, based on the past observation arithmetic mean or average okay so uh, because of what sometimes we say that uh, to find this particular pattern you need to consider a few observation uh, rather than you just plot a straight line by using all the data set that you have okay that's why uh, to find the pattern and you can also represent it by average the observation how many observation that you want to include uh, to perform moving average it depends okay and uh, if you use a larger moving average uh, value period uh, okay seven example okay uh, compared to the lesser numbers of period such as uh, three period moving average uh, you will see a pattern that more smooth if you use a larger value while uh, more abrupt or and volatile if you use lesser value because of what okay uh, let's take a look at uh, the okay mathematical form here okay as we as we mentioned here if you use three period okay uh, you will add up three observation and divide it by three okay so changes by only this one observation will affect uh, this both two rather than if you use uh, the five period of moving average okay uh, so you you will still have the observation four and five uh, to uh, okay uh, to lessen the uh, the the as example you have uh, a, a very uh, significant height value for y3 you will lesser it okay okay so uh, this is particular technique okay when you start to perform moving average we will start at the center of the period okay uh, suppose that we want to perform the 3 period ma uh, we will we will put the initial value at t equals to 2 while if you want to do 5 period ma okay uh, we will put at t equals to 3 okay this process we call it as centering okay so how do we start okay i will show to you okay by using this example okay because uh, when you perform 3 ma as example you know that you will lose the first and the last observation okay if you perform uh, 5 ma you will lose okay first two observation and the last two observation right and then you start here the centering technique okay so you just add up okay uh, okay make sure you select a correct column correct cell sorry and then you divide it by three and then enter right uh, so you drag okay this is for uh, three period moving average okay and then if you want to perform five okay just add one two three four five right 
แม่ดีกว่าไปโอเค it is actually easily perform if we want if we want a an odd numbers of moving period moving average okay for even period I will show it later right okay so I hope that uh, you can perform trend line and moving average by your own self uh, thank you for listening okay if you have any question uh, you can ask using our uh, our channel okay and I hope you will I hope you have a good day okay and thank you for listening bye